Hello, welcome to Garden Chronicles. Today I'd like to showcase to you about this particular begonia known as Iron Cross Begonia. A, a quick uh, tips that I would like to share about it. You can actually see here that I'm actually showcasing to you the plants that are actually sold in a nursery and they are quite uh, burnt and you can see that the soil medium is actually cocoa peat and is quite uh, moist, more wet actually. If you, if you notice that these colors are actually more on light green and they are not looking very well. Uh, way back then when I actually saw this this particular plant was actually very expensive to pay say about 25 ringgit per pot and per plant and it's considered very rare but now I think it's actually hitting the market and there are more plants now to choose from what I want to show to you here is that these plants are actually good to to buy and take but there are certain conditions that need to be met because uh, the right now they are actually in a very sad condition where they can actually die away uh, that is what I want to talk about when you actually purchase them in, in a nursery they are actually in, in, in quite uh, in a danger zone to say why is because uh, they actually receive too much sunlight and the leaves are quite bad in the way that they are burnt and they are uh, in danger of uh, over watering and over receiving too much light and this is what I want to mention to you and how to take care of them uh, previously I've killed them so many times and I was figuring out what went wrong and what did uh, in each experiment and every single one of them actually died finally I found out what are the reason and stay stay with me in this uh, video until the end and I will show to you and explain to you what are the things that need to be done first things first uh, if uh, since the if you were to find plants in this condition look for the leaf that has less damage and uh, the more dark green it is the better because if it's very light green chances are it's more is receiving too much light this particular beginner is a total shade lover but they also need high humidity so do not put them in a very dry hindsight but more on a place where it's heavily shaded from direct sunlight uh, if you notice the, the the cross the 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 marking on the center of the leaf it is more because of why it's the kind of a magnifying glass where the light it receives light from from the center so if it's too much light it will notice that the cross or supposedly the iron cross kind of thing shrinks back and there will be a lot of burns this is because they have been actually magnifying too much light in their leaves and even a droplet of water upon them can cause this kind of burnt damage uh, on their sides so uh, what I can say here is that when you purchase them there are certain conditions that need to be met so it's okay to buy these plants uh, as getting uh, this uh, uh, specimen in your garden okay once I've purchased it what I've done here is that I've double potted in a way that I don't want any water to absorb from the bottom so you can notice that and I place a lot of pebbles underneath it and if you look at it the leaves that is underneath it are very much darker and more visible and more pronounced this is because I place them in a total shade and I only mix uh, water at the medium and not at the leaves and the other thing here is that watering is very very important as as less as possible the, these ones I actually water them like once a week or sometimes more, more much more lesser than that and uh, just monitor them uh, one of the things that I'll do is I'll just poke a, a chopstick inside of it to check and see whether the medium is dry and it's okay to be wet uh, the other danger here is that when the plant dies it just dies at one go and it's too late to actually save anything so do that this is what I meant a poking a, a, a chopstick just to check whether it is wet or dry that's the only way you can manage the watering here uh, 
uh, you notice that it is much more greener now compared to the earlier video that I showed to you is too light green and the cross is a bit more pronounced and there are less burns now the new leaf will have a better show of it so this is my tips here that I want to mention to you uh, place them in a total shaded area Br uh, about 30% uh, of light that comes in but not direct sunlight and away from rain away from raindrops just control them uh, with the watering at the site once a week a little bit of uh, a little bit background about this particular plant this uh, this particular species actually grow uh, underneath the dense forest vegetation and so therefore they are heavily shaded and they grow with the litter of all the dry leaf that collects underneath them so in that kind of condition where it is very cool very humid very dark and this is the condition that they actually thrive so do create that kind of circumstance for this particular begonia if you can i can show you how i actually place them in a very shaded area uh, no no water that gets to them and it's a corner of my balcony all right this is my quick video on this particular species iron cross begonia do click like subscribe and comment if you have any question thank you have a nice day bye